Hello and welcome to our new course on Reinforced Concrete Beam Design as per AS3600. In this course, I will explain the full and detailed process of designing a rectangular reinforced concrete section for bending as per ultimate strength design method and requirements of AS3600, which is Australian standard for concrete design. In this course, I'll start with some basics of ultimate strength design method by explaining about different design conditions of concrete beams and its assumptions. Then I will explain the full process of concrete beam design for a balanced beam and how we can check if tensile reinforcement and compressive reinforcement in a concrete beam section is at yield or not. Also, we will go through the important requirements of AS3600, such as maximum neutral access depth ratio, minimum reinforcement required, capacity reduction factor, flexural strength or module of rupture, and also the minimum strength required for a concrete beam. In the next step, we will look at concrete beam design for a ductile concrete section or under reinforced beam. I will explain the step-by-step -step design of a reinforced concrete beam as per ultimate strength design method and also the concept of minimum height of a concrete section without the need for compressive reinforcement. Finally, in order to understand the full process of concrete beam design, we will have three examples of a beam design to cover different levels of loading and as a result, different amounts of tensile and compressive reinforcement. In our three working examples, we will have designing of reinforced concrete beam with minimum reinforcement as per ultimate strain design method. Also, we will design a reinforced concrete beam, which needs a reinforcement larger than minimum reinforcement, but still there is no compressive reinforcement required. And our final working examples has two parts. The first part is designing a reinforced concrete beam with compressive reinforcement as per ultimate strength design method. And the second part is to calculate minimum height of the concrete beam, which does not require any compressive reinforcement. This course is beneficial for graduate engineers, structural engineering students, civil engineering students, and structural engineers ranging from beginners to intermediate level who would like to refresh their knowledge on the fundamentals of the reinforced concrete beam design. By the end of this course, you will learn step by step and detailed process of designing a reinforced concrete beam for bending as per ultimate strength design method and requirements of AS3600. My goal is to add value to my students by conveying my knowledge and explaining the theoretical concept behind the design. So please do not hesitate to ask if you have any questions through the message box here or any other social media links which are provided in our page. Thanks for watching and hope to see you inside the course.